Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and into another vlog. It's been a while since I first uploaded part one of this crochet project, but it's finally time to do the final stages and finish up this Cozy Days Daisy Blanket. If you missed my previous video that showed the start of this project, I'll link it up in the cards and below in the description box. So pretty much where we left off last time was creating these granny squares. I slowly made one square at a time over the course of many months and fast forward to now I have the 42 squares ready to piece into a blanket. I am now up to the part where I will stitch all the squares together. The pattern tells me to measure out a long piece of yarn to use as a thread. Then I'm threading it through a darning needle and leaving the end as it is, with no knots. I'm weaving the yarn like an S shape through the front loops of each stitch from both squares so it looks seamless from both sides. I will continue to do this across all horizontal and vertical joints. It actually took quite a bit of time, so I did this over a few sessions. This part felt quite exciting because the blanket was finally taking shape and looking close to completion. I started this crochet blanket as a winter project and I spend time on it at least every week to make slow but steady progress. I enjoy crocheting whilst watching TV, chatting on the phone or listening to a YouTube video as it doesn't require much attention once you get the hang of it and memorise the pattern off by heart. Alright, now all the squares are intact, it's the next stage where we crochet a border around it. It's simple, just three rounds of single crochets with some adjustments in the corner so it won't curl up. And the last step is to darn all the loose ends in to finish it off. This is probably the most draining part for me, but spread over multiple sessions, it was manageable. Darning in the ends is essentially sewing the yarn into the fabric a few times in different directions so it won't come loose and then cutting off the end.
and voila, it's finished. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I mean, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be because I'm a tall gal, but if I were to do it again, I would just make more squares and keep sizing it up as needed. But all in all, I love how it looks and it now permanently lives on my couch, ready for snuggles. To be honest, I'm kind of proud of myself for completing this from start to finish, as in the past I've always started and never finished, especially bigger projects like blankets. But this has given me inspiration to pick another crochet project for this winter, so let me know if you have any recommendations below. That brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more from me. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!